Hello everyone. Today we're working on elevations. I'm going to show you how to create this elevation here and ultimately you can color it and make it look like this and then even take it a step further for a more refined look like this. If you're interested in the fully rendered elevation and how to do that, you can check out the link to my courses below. For this elevation, I'm using this furniture plan and I'm going to be looking at the headboard wall. To start, we're going to open up our Procreate on our iPad. We're going to go ahead and select the plus sign for our 12 by 12 file. And then we're going to go ahead and create um, the canvas and make sure that we have on the canvas, turn on the drawing guide so that it has the grid. So it makes it a lot easier for you. So under pixels, I'm going to hit 75 and hit done. And what that does is it creates a 12 by 12 sheet of paper that has lots of little squares. All right, I've already pre-drawn the furniture plan, so I'm going to three fingers down, slide, and paste in my furniture plan that I had previously drawn. I'm going to slide it towards the bottom of the page so that I can have enough room at the top to create my elevation. Once I'm happy, I'm going to go ahead and deselect it so that I have plenty of space to draw. Now I'm going to choose another layer so that I can draw the elevation part. I don't want to mess with the furniture plan part. Go ahead and turn on drawing assist on that layer. And I'm using a 6B pencil pen. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in closer so I can see. Working with your interior walls, you're going to extend the construction line for the interior walls. And then go ahead and establish a floor line and then count up to the ceiling height here. So once that's done, you have basically the back wall elevation completed. Now it's a matter of filling in all the elements within your um, elevation. So I'm offsetting the crown molding and the base molding, and that way I can erase it later uh, for anything that's in front of it. So I'm just doing some offset lines to do some molding profile, so it just kind of um, elevates my drawing a little bit. So I did a little bit of quarter around here at the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn off drawing assist so I can draw any curved lines. So here I'm just doing the profile of the crown molding at the top. Um, so it looks like uh, it's established at a 45. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Then I'm going to do the bottom as the base molding. That's like the a cut through of the profile. So that's the wall with the crown molding and base molding. I'm going to go ahead and add another layer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on drawing assist so that I can do the different furniture items. And I'm going to use different colors for the furniture items just so it's easy to see um, as you're drawing in the next step. So at both the corners of the back and the foreground, I'm going to go ahead and do extension lines. Okay, so that just makes it easier. And then for all the other elements, I'm doing the extension lines from the edges. Uh, since this is a nightstand, it's the same kind of line. I'm just going to offset that, extend that. I'm going to do it for all my other items. And I use different colors just so it's easy to kind of see. Because if you don't, you're going to see a bunch of black lines. And it's hard to see, like, you know, visually see what which one is goes to which item. So the next step is to figure out the height. So since we have the graph paper on, we can count. So it's really important that you know what your um, dimensions are. So in this case, it's about three feet high for the back side of my lounge chair. And then the front side of my lounge chair or the arms that you're gonna see, you're gonna look that up. So it's just a little bit lower. Now, this is tricky because it's a turn chair. So just remember, you're not drawing a perspective. It's still flat. So all you need to remember is what is the height? What is the height for the back? What is the height for the front? Um, so here I am doing the measurement for the next item, which is the nightstand. So I have this again in blue to make sure it's easy for me to see later on when I do my drawing. So that's gonna be blue. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the bed. And then the bench at the foot of the bed, the desk, and then I'm going to do the lights. 
So the lights are going to do on top of whatever it's sitting on for the overall height. So here are my overall color blocks of this elevation. Now I can go ahead and start drawing the furniture. So I'm going to go on top of the block layer and I'm going to go ahead and turn on drawing assist. So this right now I'm defining in black pencil now the uh, overall shape of my lounge chair and then I'm drawing my arms of the lounge chair. So it's kind of reiterating that the overall height, the size of it, um, the arm size, the arm height and the overall height and then I'm starting to draw like the seat height. So you're taking that box that you had drawn in pink earlier and now you're going to look at your reference photo and you're going to draw the details. Like right now here's the arms, maybe this is underneath, and then I'll have to, you know, add some legs to it. So you want to turn on drawing assist when you want a straight horizontal vertical line. If you want uh, angled lines like these legs, you're going to turn off drawing assist so that it will let you um, slope a little bit when you're drawing. And then here I'm using that kind of slope line to do the thickness of the back cushion. I'm going to go ahead and do the seat cushion. And so where that stops, I can turn off drawing assist and can continue my back cushion till it hit, hits the seat cushion. So it's going to look something like this. Um, I'm going to curve out some of the cushion work here so it looks a little bit soft. And then go ahead and erase, the, oops, too much. I'm going to go ahead and, and scale down the size of my eraser there. And I'm going to erase any unnecessary lines. I'm going to draw that back um, part of the frame. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw a throw pillow here that's sitting on top of that and go ahead and erase the part of the chair that will not be seen because the throw pillow is in front of it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and fix the back of that cushion and erase the unnecessary line here. And then I can turn on and off just to kind of verify what it looks like and erase like the base molding lines. I'm going to do the same thing for the other items of furniture that I've selected. So you can go ahead and take a look at your reference photo and you can draw. And then if you have the same thing like this nightstand, it's um, the same on both sides. So I just drew, drew one and then copied it over. And the details of the bed, I drew it. And then I would erase things that aren't seen. So you kind of have to think about what's in the foreground, what's in the background. I'm just going to focus one item at a time. But I like using the colors initially when I draw the elevation just because it's easier to see like what belongs to which item. Because if not, you're just going to have a bunch of black. So now I'm just finishing up the details and uh, once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and do the wall details with the molding and double um, offset some of these lines so it has some kind of interest to the back wall. Um, and then I'll erase anything that's in, uh, that won't be shown because I have furniture in the foreground. Once all of the details are done and I'm done erasing and I'm ready to take it to the next level or, you know, export it. The way to export it is to go to your tools and go to uh, share. I save it as a JPEG or share as a JPEG. And then I airdrop it to myself because I'll airdrop it to my computer so I can input it into whatever file I'm working on. And then it'll say export successful and you're done. And you'll have something that looks like this. And then ultimately, you know, the next steps would be to render to make it look like this and then maybe you know, render a little bit more to make it look like this. All right, I'll see you next time. I hope that helps you.